who is a good host someone to host you if you win the dv lottery there are so many things and sometimes unnecessary conflicts between a person who is the winner of the dv lottery and someone hosting you someone say oh my host didn't do anything for me so it's bad host my host did one two three oh my host is good my host is bad so who is a good host number one a host is someone just helping you to give you a place to stay the accommodation that's all but if that host decides or has more information on how to get your job and is letting you know that's good but remember host is just giving you the place to stay it is your responsibility you as the winner to ask a question to the host can you help me to go to this place can you help me to understand this but not every host knows a lot of things about immigration like me so don't expect that every host will be knowing all those immigration stuff don't expect that your host will be the one taken to the interview giving you a job giving you a ride doing whatever no to avoid those unnecessary conflicts it is better for you and the host to have conversation you don't need to write it down as a contract but just to understand expectation and what someone will be able to oh I'll, I'll help you to find a job i'll help you to do this one two three it is better to have the initial conversation because sometimes you might say this is the host the host is just i'm giving you the address i'm busy with my job it is you who needs to make sure that you understand those kind of things if the host is expecting to help with the child did you discuss that expectation otherwise you might just wait for a child uh, someone is waiting oh you're waiting to help for a child and you don't oh this person is bad this person is bad so you have just the unforeseen conflict but if you have the honest conversation life becomes so much easy i can give two examples quick i have hosted two people one is my nephew one is carla and the, uh, his family in all situations we used to have to talk too much we talk a lot we had so many understanding and what are the expectation for what we are there if it's for pay or is for free you have to talk those in advance so those are the things you need to know from very very early on so that it becomes easier for you if you win so that you can have a host and you don't need to have a comfort in that up to today Kara Asrida and his family were very very good friendship we go to their home they come to our home but if you don't have those conversations, you might end up in conflict. You don't talk today. You don't whatever. Oh, this person didn't do anything. No. Did you expect that? Did you have that kind of expectation? Did you discuss? Did that person was aware that that is what you are, your expectation? Whether it's your host or the person is coming. The person is coming, is coming to start the life. It's not coming to be your maid at your house. So if you, expect, you want the person to help something, to pay or to help with dishes or to help with something, you need to, to tell them. To discuss those kind of things to avoid unnecessary conflict between the two uh two people two families in the same house